What are your expectations there? I don't know what my expectations are. I don't know what Eternal Fire's expectations are themselves, but we do know that this team have been able to manage some really ridiculous matches overall, climbing from up within the top 50 in their second place run in Republic, now to being established as a pretty solid tier two team. If they can keep that up from here on out in spite of the standings, and that certainly would be a positive signs for the Turkish squad. Let's see whether they can do it on their pick of dust two here. T-side start for Eternal Fire. Skate with straight USBs and Kevlar. Utility for Mini over on the Eternal Fire side. A very heavy stack over towards the B site from Skade. So maybe get an indication on the pestle of something they've they've anti stratted and a, a, maybe a particular style of play that Eternal Fire like to bring early on on their T side. They see Bubble just strafing left and right out from those mid doors, not really spotting anything other than Emor towards top mid. Four players just walking into those tunnels, Emor. Making a bit of noise trying to draw attention away from the B side, but there's still be two players to defend it in Dreamer and Ships. And Ships has already fallen to the raid boss. Great P250 shots from Zentaris. Cleans up two heads. Emor strikes towards mid. Cuts off any potential for Skate in this round. It really looked like they had the read there. Two on B and a third quick rotator in from mid. And they just get absolutely railed over. Beautiful entries in for Zantara's. Made it look simple. Out from the upper tunnels. Double entry. Get the bomb down. Deal with that mid player from Emor 2. That's the round over and done with. Denny and Rainwear could just holding on to the Kevlar. Probably looking at force buying into the second round. Eternal Fire getting off to a great start. Yeah, pistol gain effectively thanks to Zantaris' raid boss. The P250 redid the heavy lifting in that one, and ultimately you're going to be around going confidently towards their favor. We talk a lot about how the inexperience and the stand-ins, of course, on the Eternal Fire side couldn't end up being a hindrance, but in terms of the team overall, you still have four of those main staple players. Rain Waker at least getting a couple of exits back here towards Pit. We'll try and make it at least a somewhat of a competition. Damage being done in minimal amounts towards Woxic, but it's really nothing major from either side. Indicating there's going to be an A hit here for the Eternal of Fire. Count the flashes going over. We'll catch Danny a little bit blinded. His bubble instead to get two kills. He turns back on Emor, finding Zantaris in mid and back over towards the A site itself to a three versus five scenario. Meanwhile, Mini starts walking out the B site, seeing nothing. We'll catch Invo and Dreamer, but lose that next fight. And that's exactly why Eternal Fire were playing slow, because those individual fights could have gone to Ryan. In this round, they most certainly have. Now left to Woxic in a 1v4 clutch. Yeah, what a hold from Bubble down there towards CT Sport, gathering all of that information making the whole play possible. Woxic now getting legged up. But with two players on long, they might just say, okay, ships, play B by yourself. And if you get overwhelmed, we'll just save the rifles. Have to be that case. Instead, they're playing towards A, so they're going to stand their ground. Denny and Rain Waker, that AWP in first. Flick not connecting over at elbow, spots that head once again. Takes a premature shot. Rain Waker tapping with the AK. Little tags coming in against him. He gets a kill back on Calyx as that bomb crosses the site. Then A comes up, denies it for the time being. Mini also just as low, so I think Skade might have just maintained control on a three on three. Walks up from the back up now. Ships will get to position. Nades continue to rain in on the site itself. The bomb should go down from him. There's no further HEs. So they get the bonus cash out of this round. Everything from here is a bonus. And as Centaurus falls, everyone else will drop. Jeez, that was a nerve-wracking round. That almost looked like it was just falling apart completely. Attention again away from the actual A play. Smokes up. Incendiary standing. Count of Molotov's land ahead of that smoke, just ahead of Goose as well as Antares boosted, trying to hunt the bubble off a Rain Waker here. Further flashes coming in will allow the peaks, and they're all stacked up. So Bubble Spray could find them all, assuming he gets the angle. Instead, it ships, picking up the four versus four as Mini will drop out towards mid. All down to the main T side force here towards Long on this ramp position. It's Emor that watches it. Gandalf, 13 seconds. Bomb gets dropped here. It might lead to their demise. Rain Waker involved alongside Bubble's assistance. USP pulled out, gets the headshot on Zantaris, walks it with a trade. But now they're dead out of time. Emor's got to prioritize the bomb plant. And neither anyone's going to get anything done here. Go aggressive, catch the AWPer off guard, and even ships with the pre aim isn't able to deal with it. So more pressure starts mounting now on what Dreamer can do at B. Oh, they got that mid control bubble being careful about this. Flashbang allows Emo to get the trade back as he thought he was blinded, but bubble fought incorrectly. Rain waking out around that corner, finally get the trade. With Dreamer burning one player in Zentaris, it's going to be a three versus two. Skade, not quite at the advantage just yet. It could well be traded by Rain Waker, who is still hunting for a pickback. Nades onto his position, though, tagged to 24. Backstab also coming from Woxic. Watch him in the mid control. He spot out Denny. Shot connects. Last player also seen. Rain Waker's got no escape, and a turtle fire will steal the rounds. They're just scrambling.
hit comes forward for Eternal Fire. Flashbang comes in and no one gets caught by it. Rain Wave is in the way behind the default box. Just look for Calyx. Good kill. Double up there as well. Emil with a responsive. The orb now for Denny. Needs to try. Gets one. No more than that. Three on two. Ships on site. Supported by a teammate right behind him. Could deny the bomb plant. Look for the back of him instead. Mini traded. Woxic there with a good shot at the AWP. And has absolutely no idea where the last band's coming in from. It's on short. And Woxic makes the right call to plant for the backside. Dreamer reveals his position. And Woxic checks the corner but doesn't land the shot. The M4 will win the round. Not back on momentum as well in terms of getting those two rounds that you got breaking the streak for Skate. And then once again, Skate are right back in control here. Smoke step, Molotov's back. Zentaris will siphon off one player on the rotation. Rain Waker might push ahead of that smoke anyway. And he flashes to support it. His teammates on site. Gonna get that assistance a little bit late and ships. He get the trade on Zentaris. So Skate sacrificing one element to get a three for one trade. Make it four as Midi falls. And Woxic just left out towards CT mid. Does get at least a decent shot onto ships, but won't get a chance for a second. He'll do ship down to 72. Not able to get the kill though. Dreamer unable to find a trade. He'll hunt for him still as he works in. The execution to come out to the A side as Mini does eventually fall. Denny Slaw set with the AWP. Not had a massive number of frags, but they have all been impactful. Like that one against them all. Great shot now to the advantage. Dropping another important rifle as Calyx falls on long. And it's two standing for Eternal Fire. Nades on Zentara. So much damage done. Sets up Skade for the retake so effectively. And surely Eternal Fire shouldn't last long in this one. No, not at all. Denny even capitalizes on Wox and getting aggressive. And we need one hell of a Zantaris moment if anything's going to happen. 17 points of health. This is so undoable. Yeah. C2, get nothing. Just a tag on Rain Waker, and it will be 10 5 at the half. The scale of Stella playing up on short. It's a slight missed opportunity that they don't get that kill in straight away, but I like the way they back off and they cancel, and they now start putting the troops into A. And it's Antares for the opener at last. Ships dealt with. Goosh down on Wok6. Antares makes it a double. On for the triple. Emor steals it away. But that still picks to the favor of the CT side. Antares struggling to get that triple with Wok6 being low. It's Antares falls and it could spell disaster. And that's exactly what it does. 2v2 bomb goes down. Oh, this looks good. This looks very promising now for Skate. Get that bomb plan in. Dreamer doesn't really need a peek. Spotted at least that one player though, keeps his head tucked away. Rain Waker so focused on long though, got to turn his attention towards short. They don't know that second player is there just yet. They will start to peek into they hear the footsteps. They must do now here. Dreamer so focused on that short presence. One player dives down, Mini should have been heard. Jump face, Rain Waker can now strike his Dreamer. Gets the kill on Calix. Mini so low, 8 HP. And it takes one bullet to take him out of the fold. And the AWP of Emor leans in towards mid, hoping he can catch ships and co. Smokes and flashes set towards that CT spawn in the cake. There might be a B play, but the reality is it's going to be the A hit via short. Watch it flashed off. One player at Goose. Zentaris could be the winning element if they don't go ahead and check in here. Or looking for an angle. Captures Rainwaker. Ten seconds as they creep slowly into the bomb site and they run into the trap set by Zentaris. Sprung on bubble and ships as well. And just like that, Eternal Fire find their confident round. The rifle round goes their way. Well, at this moment, though, Kalex not opting to act. Skade will join up with his team, with this uh, bomb carrier, with their teammate. And he, his orb just posted the position, expecting there to be a swing sometime soon. Meanwhile, Bubbles lurk out towards tunnels, has worked out less for the wear for him. 21 HP. Kalex now against three. Sees ship's shoulder, sees his shadow, in fact. Frag found. Dreamer and Denny giving up the 1v1s effectively to this M4. Denny's forced to get a trade back. A second player is also in position towards long as he gets out of dodge. 25 seconds. His teammate, his backup, his lurk has fallen. Now where does he go with this? Out towards the mid doors, it seems. Mini is posted up with the M4, expecting there to be a mid to be play. Instead, 15 seconds to the clock, Denny's just going to smoke off the site, try and evade what's to give at all possible. But a big gap between him and that smoke. Safety leaves an easy kill for Eternal Fire. And Ted now rotates down to lower. Dreamer's going to hear those footsteps, and he's going to have a B site open. Taurus. Smoke's going to suppress them for now. Again, a lot of the attention turned away on towards Long. And they catch him through the smoke. Denny with a wall bang, taking his head off his shoulders. And the rotation back from Dreamer will not enable a B rotate. Even though they've rotated away from that B site entirely, they're going to commit towards the A play here, Skade. 30 seconds to try and do so. Wok6 all put ready along to the Naze. Emil's going to peek him with a smoke back down. Naze doing damage. The flicks don't connect. The ships now makes it two standing for Eternal Fire. Two overly aggressive, giving up those individual fights. And now they storm the A site. Wraparounds on rotations coming in. The AWP peeks in, gets bubble. But the ship drops in. It's all left to Wok6 who misses that second shot and won't get a chance at the third. Skade just about. Could be an interesting position. It all comes up to whether he gets the kill, really. The timing was positioned. The Molotovs get 
Mage Race. Bubble can start to act. Coordinated here by Skate. Bubble's chance to strike. Swings out. Sees Mini. Spray through. Where's the author? On site. He's got the right read. Damage being done as it creeps closer towards it. Gun barrel spotted. And Dreamer can get the overwhelming. It's a 3v3. Make it two now as Dreamer goes ham. Oh my goodness. The new pickups coming in from Skate. Coming right through. Bubble with the walk. No one expecting it. And Dreamer coming through to help him out. Walks again, Kallax. Now down to them to retake. Kallax coming in from Tunnels. Bubbles ready for the shot. And that's it. That should be all Woxic. Not as impressive in this map up. But now set to the clutch in a 1v3. And Dreamer swings to close it out. Wonderful round from him. And a wonderful match. Down for Bubble. This is going to be an apps pop into a short XE, and there's only two on eight. They've already over rotated Woxic. And Rain Waker to pop out. Calix gets caught in their head. CT brains splattered all over Pit, and now it's Antara sat on the back of the site. A gap in that smoke could be utilized. A rat play could come through as Emor drops the bomb. Bubble caught jumping in the air, and Dreamer's going to have to force to get the trade. So three versus two as he does recover that bomb here, and now they converge in on Zentara. A lurker out from ships, though, leaning into the B site. It's cleared out the site entirely. I don't think <laughs> Woxic's ready for this. This rotation comes in. He's rotating to the A site. What is going on this round? It seemed like Skade had just had the call to take the bomb A and that was going to be it. Overwhelm the bomb site, get the bomb down. They go in for a wrap in CT spawn. It doesn't quite work. They recover the bomb and then Ships actually realizes with the lurk towards top banana, I've got free side control and they've still left a lurk in brackets. And now they realize what's going on here. Rain Waker's here in the footsteps. Those that ever rotated <laughs> back, oh, they, they are being played like fools here. Skade have got all the control. No one's watching the backstab. So for Rain Waker, just take your time, son. Slow walk in, find those hands. And tap them up as appropriate when you need to see, see fit. Then we'll start to lean in. Both players now spotted that's information. They get called. Woxic shot in the back of the head. Like a scene from of mice and men. Zantaris in a one versus three now. Surely has got no way back into this. It's a pistol that will be gained by Skate. Well, he sort of faked the axe pop in the previous uh, round they went for it in the pistol. Blast out from Rainwakers and they're just going to commit towards it. Ships out of the gate, drives in towards the pit position, looks towards Wong, was spotted out there by Zantaris. As Dreamer mops up two on the short control, Ships can get involved. Rainwaker steals that kill away with a bit of assistance. And just like that, Skay's execution looks wonderful. Eternal Fire are forced to save. Uh, this is giving me glimpses of how they've got a 75% win rate when it comes to Inferno, how they've got 12 wins and four losses in the last three months. Beautiful entries out of the gate yeah. there from Dreamer into the apartments. And then even for Ships, okay, he's struggling in mini pit. He's got his teammates there to all back himself up. Rain Waker starts coming into the mix and you've even got a slight hunt. Denny's coming in from Banana. You've got Rain Waker out towards CT. So they're going to try and take even further weapons out of play. We're talking about Ships being an important player for this squad, and obviously we, we were talking a little bit about that in the desk and over the course of the uh, Invitational itself. And even if that importance is just a sponge damage like he did in that last round, enable Dreamer and Rainmaker up here by Eternal Fire. No flash that Zantaris can work with. They've got a peek off the back of it towards Pit. Smokes in towards Arches. And over at Library, Emo flashing his way through the doorway. Instead of allowing Zantaris to peek forward, it's a great bait and switch for an opening kill for Eternal Fire. Calix now in Pit, unaccounted for. Ships will drop to Emo as he engages out from the long position. And moving ahead towards Motor, it's Rain Waker finding with a decent kill. Emo on site, engages for a secondary pick back, taking some damage as now his teammate looks to strike. Rain Waker with a decent kill. Zantaris low, bomb's got to go down here. They get the frag in, but it's too late for Rain Waker. I don't think he gets it. No, he doesn't. Most certainly not now. And Skay, by the virtue of timer alone, will back out. It might be misdirection. Indeed, it is. Mini rotating away from the A side, which is about to get hit up here. Oh, Wox, it gets dealt with. And even Kallax is so aggressive. This just allows the further lurk out. He's oh. got no idea what's going on. He gets a kill, but it's not enough. Now they've got to put themselves in a position where they have to try and retake two on three. In any other situation, Kallax gets a ton of praise for that shot to Denny, but the fact there were so many players around him, it just means that it's just a, a small highlight in a round that's going to be an advantage for Skay. 3v2 in the post plant. And Emor and Mini feel like they want to go for this retake here, try to get that second up to the board. They've got a bit of momentum on their side, but Rain Waker immediately takes out the man advantage, makes it now two up for Skade. And Emor, what can he do from here? He's watching out all sorts of entryways, hoping that someone peeks out on the site itself. And Dreamer will give him what he wants, but... And the smokes, 
bubble peaking. All three players peak actually. And Roxy doesn't get away with a kill, fortunately enough, for the skate side. The mini holds down to the site on the boost box. Only gets that one frag and a ton of damage to the second at the very least. Bomb will get up the site and should get plotted. He was going to try and deny it. Gets the kill. Almost transfers to Denny. But he's a little bit late on the actual frag itself. So advantage for Eternal Fire here, making their way up to the retake. Oh, we've seen Rainwaker and Dream in these situations before, though. 2v3. This is very winnable. They're going to both peek together towards CT. Get Kalix. Look for Zentaris. Dreamer with a trade back and he's aware where Wox is coming in from. Glass Cannon, this orb, needing to get a kill to break his uh, break his fragless record so far. And Dreamer with a wraparound. He's playing the nine games against Wopsic, the veteran here in this roster. Now being turned on the AWP. Looks the wrong way and does find the frag at the right moment. But he hasn't got time for the defuse. So it's still around for Skade. Yeah, that's unfortunate. No kit on for Wopsic. And even... I can't believe he's in construction right now and they don't even have the B site. Rainwake has now got the pick towards A. They've got free site towards the A site. They can just rotate the bomb over. Well, Emo's in the back site and he's going to be the big thorn in their side. He gets that one frag back on bubble. Makes it not quite as flawless around as they like it to be. Galax walking in and does find ships to a 3v3. Okay, this is now on the table and the rotations in the CT side are placed so well because Skater rotating as well. Yeah, this is them probably just realizing they've brought a lot of CTs back over towards that B side. Woxic's going to hold for the cross to come out from the short side. But for Rainwaker, he can smoke down Moto and not even give an opportunity. There it is. Then he's going to peek in. See Kalix's shoulder, but catch him in the elbow. And that's not good enough for a kill. The bomb will get planted to the back wall. And Dreamer and Wayne Waker are standing by in the 2v3. We saw them win out this clutch previously. Not quite able to maintain all their lives, but Wok 16. Kalix is low. We'll get out of dodge. Ensure that the blind spray can't come through from Dreamer. The smoke will clear. And now Moto is opened up for the T side. But same thing for the CT forces as well. Kalix watching an overlord's pit. E more scene sprayed up by Dreamer. Sees where Kalix is. He's hunting for the triple and that's exactly what he'll get why the confidence on this t side line even fakes coming in from denny trying to sell something out towards that b side and might force a rotation back from mini the concern will be zentaris and calyx in over towards that uh uh in over that pit position emor will get forced back and yeah they will draw the rotations but that's popped to come through from skade yeah, but bring one player over but now it comes down to the entries calyx and zentaris they've got a hold against the apartments players Kalix is at least watching here from pit control. They'll dive down. They won't be ready for Zentaris in a mini pit, and he gets away with a kill. Kalix will drop Zentaris with a double. He needs to make it a triple. That's exactly what he does. AK picked up. Denny now wraps the corner with pistol in hand. AWP pulled out against mini and can't hit that. Apparently, Incendiaris and the CTs will stop them. The execution should still come through. Yeah, Mini's going to be left alone on the bomb site. Emo's going to have to push through the smoke again. And he gets second back up to new box. AWP finding a gap in that smoke. Going to get overwhelmed. Okay, that's a shot. Looking for a blind one through the smokes. Hearing that bomb plant coming down against Rainwaker. Trying to tap towards him. But no, he used that little ledge on the fountain to just escape the ire of the AWP. A 5v3. And now Danny's going to watch out from the banana presence. A spray through from Dreamer. Gets aggressive in CT. Does lose his life in the end. And now Rainwaker, the only directive element here on the site. The Orpa Denny might have a big task to him. Assuming Rainwaker gets killed off early. It's one frag. E a known entity taking blind pop shots of smoke down onto the banana position is Denny. A blind shot through the smoke gets Emo now to a one versus two. Kalix tapping the bomb once. Woxic. Oh, shot through the smoke again. The AWP is going massive. And Kalix on the bomb. Low HP for the P250 as Denny clutches it and brings gets the kill. Emor somehow lines up alongside Mini. The SMGs turn it around and find the four versus two for Eternal Fire instead. Rifles picked up again. It's Dreamer through the smoke against Mini and brings it into a 2v3. That's that dynamic duo you mentioned time and time again, Dweg. The ability to close down these clutches. They don't have the sight this time, though. If they can isolate Kalix, they can somehow bring it in and the 5-7s reveal position. Now, the HP numbers on Dream is going to make a big difference. And even just that slight jiggle allows the rotation to come back in towards the A side. Woxic's going to come out from Arch or Library and actually probably take the fight head on. And we around the outside in towards Long checks Arches. Woxic Scout is watching. Player on the site and Kalix is held towards the box boost. Turned up. Scout gives away his position. It's a 2v2 now with a flashbang in and a smoke onto Moto. Will suppress his angle. Allow that bomb to cross surely. Get planted. Retakes on the engagement against Woxit. They brought it back now. It's one left. Eternal fire. Have Emor. Held behind the smokes, a slight gap in it. Can try and look for Dreamer, but he keeps his head tucked away in any angles. But it's M4 to work with on one HP. Emor just watches. 
Creeps off the site. No idea where Rain Waker is. Info gonna have to get given up as he checks that corner. Gets Rain Waker. 1v1. Pulls out Util and flashes his way out to try to get towards that bomb. Diffusal. 4 HP v 1 HP. Next bullet to land. We'll find the round. The streamer goes risky. And the risk pays of the way and it's a shot for Denny that denies evil already. Oh, look at this. Ships are getting very aggressive and getting punished for that. Wasn't necessary at all. They already had the orb pick, the man advantage that came through alongside and now with that in play, Denny knows he needs to act again. He needs to look for more and that's the bomb getting dropped. Not quite the second player though. Zantara is keeping the trades going for Eternal Fire. 3v3. Try to turn away back into the... Short position, it's Mini on the Dreamer. Rain Waker on site, gets one. Trying to isolate the jewels. The flashbangs will keep him blinded. And Bubble might as well go for this here. One on two. Three kills already to his name. What can he get out of this on the Mini's part? Spray through. Molotov going to burn him back. Smokes into position as Bubble just palms his way forward, doing some damage. It gets in your minds when it's double digits. That's normally the ticket of when you start at least considering the factor that it's a possibility. Double HEs out to Logs, already doing a lot of damage to Zantara, so his impact up towards Banana is going to be very difficult to find anymore. There's another HE. And a shot from Ships instead comes forward, thinking that Zantara's are going to be close, and so just check that wood position just in case. The player at Woodstack will fall to open things up the skate. One out of five required. Jeez, what a shot that was from Ships. Immediate headshot, even on low HP. And now for Eternal Fire, they're starting to regroup into the apartments. Could be an apps pop over the top, get a motor smoke down and flash over high. Need to really gather down onto these entries. No one playing out from pit. This seems to be quite typical for Skate. They haven't had many pit players in the second half. Ashes in, Cindy down, Calyx. Lean forward and spray through these smokes. Hoping he can catch something blinded, but so far, so little gained. 45 seconds are going to make a move on. Yeah, it's got to be 2A. And even for Dreamer, he's just going to play the contact. Rainwake is going to be the first one. Dreamer's just going to hide in the corner. The lower the time runs, the better this becomes for Skade with 3 on A. Always being made in that bracket position will cause some info. Then a salve utility, but giving the position away to the CT side. Molotov's up. Denny with the AWP focusing on short back on the site. Rainwaker to try hold it. Denny with a kill. Rainwaker and Dreamer hold down the crossfire and it all falls apart with all five alive for Skade.